first of all, a very good evening to all of you. <laughs> I, you know, I keep having to see my time to say good evening. Because in India, by this time, it's almost dark. You know? So when you say good evening, you expect to be dark. So to see still light outside and to confirm myself, you know, this is mind, I guess. So first of all, I'd like to uh, thank uh, Reverend Bruce for being so kind and, uh, and uh, of course uh, Church of Ireland uh, for uh, having uh, and being so kind to uh, hosting us uh, here today uh, having this beautiful place to uh, share some of my thoughts with all of you uh, also the uh, organizers here uh, who have worked very hard uh, with uh, Anila and then all the other uh, organizers uh, who have worked and are very hard uh, to make this uh, happen. And to all of you uh, who are participating here today uh, uh, you know, uh, with a very uh, open mind uh, to uh, you know, kind of uh, eager to uh, learn or eager to share uh, some thoughts. Uh, I think that is very uh, important uh, because we as uh, human beings uh, have this uh, special quality that is intelligence. And so uh, able to uh, uh, use our intelligence uh, is very important. Uh, so, so in that terms, uh, then uh, I feel very uh, honored and happy uh, to be here uh, sharing some of my thoughts. Uh, though, uh, honestly speaking, it's just uh, uh, you know uh, looking at all of you here. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm sure all of you, most of you, have much more experience than I do. You know? <laughs> so, uh, so it's uh, kind of uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, sharing my uh, experience uh, is a little bit uh, strange, but. Uh, uh, of course, everyone has, uh, uh, you know, uh, different uh, experiences, different thoughts. Uh, so in that terms, then sharing uh, one another's thoughts with each other, it's a, uh, uh, it's a productive thing. So in that terms, then I would like to uh, share with all of you uh, a little bit of my thoughts. Uh, <coughs> of course, uh, my thought now comes uh, through uh, understanding of uh, the Buddha Dharma and uh, through uh, you know, so experience through that, contemplating on uh, that, and then gradually uh, uh, you know, uh, experiencing, seeing the results that way. So, uh, but saying that, uh, you know, so I'm very happy that everybody here <coughs> from different backgrounds, you know, not just from the Buddhist background, but from different backgrounds, because. Uh, uh, I think this is very important uh, you know, uh, to have different uh, thoughts and not be stuck up in just one thought you know, and uh, able to share and able to uh, mix and able to see the best uh, in all. This is, uh, as I said, the human intelligence. So we have to use that. You know, we have to, to make this life a meaningful, uh, uh, valued life. Then uh, important to use the intelligence. And so. Uh, if we say we are just Buddhists and only Buddhists and, uh, and keep everything out, mm -hmm. it's very small, you know, it's not the right uh, way. Uh, same goes to others. You know? So uh, I think this is very important. We, uh, we can see lack of uh, such uh, understanding and then we have uh, lots of problems nowadays. You know? uh, so actually that is not what uh, it is. Uh, it is just uh, someone's uh, limited uh, understanding of it create uh, such uh, misunderstandings. So, uh, so in that terms also uh, it gives me a great pleasure to, uh, to be able to uh, interact with all of you and hopefully at the end of uh, uh, this uh, uh, we will be able to share you know, some thoughts with each other. You know, that would be good I think. Uh, it doesn't mean uh, Always that you have to ask questions and I have to give answer, you know. So it should be, uh, uh, not, uh, I think it should be more for sharing uh, with each other uh, once 
uh, experience, one's uh, understanding, uh, you know, that is important, I think. So you can learn something from me, I can learn something from you. You know, so that way, uh, I think, uh, if you look at it in that terms, uh, I think uh, uh, it sounds better, right? So, <coughs> so now, <coughs> of course I was given the, you know, I was asked to talk on the uh, topic, uh, world, uh, world peace through uh, inner peace. So, as I already said, uh, you know, no matter uh, what uh, religion we come uh, from, uh, no matter what uh, uh, family, race, uh, place we are from, uh, we all uh, look for peace. You know? So that's uh, the topic, uh, you know, world peace in a peace. You know, so we are looking or searching for this thing called peace all the time. You know? uh, so uh, that is how the topic came about. Now what is peace? Uh, it is uh, simply, I, I think, it is simply freedom. You know, freedom. So when I say freedom, then uh, complete and uh, genuine freedom. You know? So that is uh, somehow uh, describes uh, peace. Now, uh, all beings, irrespective of, uh, I always say this because it is very important to understand this, uh, that all beings, irrespective of who uh, we are or what kind we are, uh, we, one common thing that we all have, and that is we yearn for happiness. And uh, one common thing that we have, and that is we, uh, you know, uh, we want to eliminate suffering of all kinds. And so this is one common thing that we have. And it is very important to understand this because though you know we have such natural uh, uh, you know uh, want, uh, we don't recognize this, and we don't recognize this in other beings. And so that is how uh, we uh, 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 take advantage about this, you know, and that is how uh, we uh, have lots of uh, confusion uh, when we don't understand this. So I think at uh, first it's very important to understand this. A very basic understanding that all beings like you, you know, uh, uh, want happiness, and all beings like you don't want suffering. You know, and this is the basic thing. You know, this is the so for this purpose, whatever we do, whatever we uh, you know, also day to day uh, life, uh, from life to life. You know, uh, so we uh, carry on for this purpose, you know, just this purpose. So. So that is very important, I think, to uh, reflect on. That is very important to understand, you know, uh, uh, to root it inside us, you know, because this is the reality, you know, that is what it is. And so I think that is very important. So I keep telling, you know, whenever I talk, uh, I keep telling this all the time, you know, because uh, I tell you, because in that terms, I also remember, you know, so it helps me to remember, you know, all the time. You know, so when I remember this, then it helps me to understand uh, others, you know, the, uh, the uh, needs of the others, you know, the understanding of the others. So, uh, so that is very important. Most of the time, we forget that. You know, so, if you remind us, then uh, it is very helpful. <coughs> now, so knowing the cause and conditions for achieving the happiness, and uh, knowing uh, how to avoid the cause and condition for the sufferings. Uh, so this is freedom, you know, freedom is that. <coughs> so when we don't know how to do that, then we uh, confuse ourselves and uh, uh, and uh, have lots of uh, uh, you know problems. Uh, we are not free from many things. Uh, but when we understand this, how to uh, uh, how to go about, uh, you know, uh, so that is the freedom. Uh, you know, so uh, so uh, I feel that is uh, freedom. Now, uh, when we uh, examine the cause and conditions for uh, happiness, or the cause and conditions uh, for suffering, uh, we realize that everything is uh, interdependent. Uh, uh, nothing uh, is of the nature of independently uh, by itself uh, substantial. You know, so this is uh, called interdependence. Uh, now, uh, it is not uh, dependence, it is interdependence. 
uh, when you're dependent on something, uh, then uh, you know a lot of people have this, you know, the notion that uh, dependency then uh, have some kind of inferior uh, complex, and you know, I have lots of problems. So uh, uh, here, not uh, not dependency, but interdependency. So it is a mutual thing, an interdependent. Everything is interdependent. So we say everything is interdependent. Uh, Nothing by itself is substantially, uh, you know, independently, uh, uh, how do you say, uh, uh, you know, self-sustainable that way, you know. Uh, so, uh, supposing, uh, uh, so that is how when we understand this, then we uh, recognize or understand that uh, for uh, your own well-being, the well-being of others is important, you know. Uh, so, if others well-being is, you know, if others are in harmony, then you are automatically in harmony. If you are in harmony, others are in harmony. So it depends that way. You know, for example, even even anything, you know, we can check anything. For example, uh, let's say uh, this cup. You know, so uh, the cup uh, exists to be a cup as we think, uh, as a solid thing there. But if you examine it, uh, it is dependent on so many factors. You know, for example, uh, uh, the material of the cup. You know, it depends on so many. Uh, you know, it depends on either clay, porcelain, whatever is made. So it is dependent on that. You know, so and then the shape. You know, if uh, if you make it into another shape, it's a bowl. You know, it's not a cup. You know, but uh, with certain shape, it becomes a cup. You know, and then the saucer below. Uh, it's a flat thing in there, and that it becomes a saucer. You know, and so uh, and then uh, so so many uh, you know so many things put together and created and then we put that as a cup you know, and we call that a cup and it uh, appears to be a cup you know so uh, so that way a cup has so many uh, uh, so many things put in together creating one you know, so by itself now we can see cup by itself is uh, you know a solid thing is uh, uh, you know is not uh, possible. Many things put together make it a cup. You know, so that way. And so in the same way, uh, whatever you see, you know, whatever you see, everything is the same. And so uh, for ourselves, you know, we uh, let's say uh, for our existence, you know, we are dependent on so many other things. If we think we can uh, uh, survive, uh, you know, alone, it is impossible. Uh, you know, we need the support of so many other things. Uh, uh, forget about external, internal also. And nowadays, you know, before there were medicines like antibiotic, you know, which uh, which is supposed to kill the germs, you know. But nowadays we realize just by killing the germs is not enough. You know, we have a probiotic, you know, which uh, bring back the germ, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we need to uh, depend on them also, you know. So uh, so uh, all this, you know, so uh, everything is dependent on each other, you know, so that we. Uh, uh, it functions that way. So uh, if one if one thinks that I only can, if I am happy, if I can create this I to be happy, then I will be happy. It's very difficult. You know, it is not possible. Uh, we have to depend on other uh, uh, others to be happy. Uh, that is why nowadays we have so much problem as well. You know, because of lack of understanding of this. You know, each uh, uh, country think that they can. Uh, you know, uh, be happy by just uh, uh, being, uh, how do you say, uh, by ruling, by having power uh, and uh, uh, neglect the uh, neighbors and others. You know, and when that happens, uh, then uh, when you are only one creating, you know, uh, uh, creating, uh, uh, trying to achieve something for only one and neglect others, then there's so many uh, others there. You know, and then you isolate yourself from others. You know, so that way, and then you uh, you create you know so many uh, who uh, how do you say? Uh, 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 <coughs> there's this uh, uh, the uh, relation between each other is uh, uh, not not able to develop through that you know, because only self self centered. You know, so limited to self thing. And you know, so when that happens, and then uh, as I said, everybody wants. Uh, something good for oneself, you know. So if everybody starts thinking that way, and then it becomes an individual, you know. So uh, one is not able to, uh, uh, you know, kind of uh, 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 be happy with everybody. Though you have to, you know, though you have to uh, be involved with everybody, as the uh, law of interdependence, 
And so that is where we see so many uh, problems nowadays, you know, having uh, border issue, having wars with each other, uh, so these kind of things, you know, because of selfish reasons, not able to under understand the interdependence. You know, so uh, if we are able to understand, uh, understand the interdependence, then uh, the, uh, you know, we will be able to uh, achieve uh, harmony amongst each other. And I, in the old days also, you know, the, uh, uh, when there were kings and uh, you know these uh, kind of thing, and then uh, the kings used to get their uh, you know uh, sons and daughters married to the other you know kingdom, you know because they understand you know interdependence. You know when you are, uh, have that relation, then you become stronger, you become uh, you know more powerful. So it's that is that kind of understanding. You know, so we have to depend on each other. You know, in any way. You know, so so that is uh, very important to understand. Uh, and now, uh, when, and also through the interdependency, and then uh, you know one can uh, uh, understand the uh, as we say the Buddhists talk about emptiness, emptiness all the time. Uh, lots of people have a, a you know misunderstanding of this emptiness. Uh, we, uh, people think emptiness means nothing, you know, nothingness. Buddhists talk about nothingness. Uh, there is nothing, you know. Uh, so it's not that actually. You know, actually, emptiness means everything. You know, it means uh, uh, limitless. You know, uh, when we talk about emptiness, uh, through the understanding of the interdependency, uh, then we recognize that by uh, uh, what do say, uh, by itself, uh, uh, nothing uh, is of the nature of independently and by itself substantial. You know, so it is dependent on uh, many other factors. You know, together, uh, put together. So this is uh, 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 this is through this then one understands emptiness. You know that uh, so emptiness means this. Uh, yeah, for example, okay. So so that way and then uh, 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 the uh, uh, so uh, so with this uh, you know through the uh, uh, first the intellectual uh, uh, how to say meditation then through. Uh, you know, uh, gradually through directly uh, meditating, uh, uh, you know, through the uh, practical, uh, then one uh, uh, realizes or one can see this uh, uh, nature of the uh, interdependence. Uh, and uh, uh, that uh, happiness also depends on the uh, well-being of all around us. Is, uh, you know, uh, so that is, uh, through that then one can achieve the harmony. Uh, that is very, I think it is very, very, uh, how do you say, uh, uh, one, can, one can see this very easy, you know, uh, somebody, if you are a self-centered person, uh, when you walk into a community, nobody will really appreciate you, you know, when you come inside, uh, everybody will uh, uh, run away from you, you know, or uh, not talk to you, you know, you will be a lonely person. You know, but when you are a warm-hearted uh, person, always uh, you know ready to uh, greet everybody, always ready to uh, you know talk to people, uh, uh, you know trying to uh, provide whatever others need in that way, and then you become the uh, you know, person of the public, you know of everybody. So everybody is very happy to see you. Everybody is very happy to uh, you know have you. So that way you are also happy. You know you also become happy. You know. Uh, like this time, uh, when I was in, of course, I go to many places, uh, sometimes in the big city, sometimes I reach the, the jungles, uh, sometimes I reach some, uh, you know, uh, I reach all kinds of places, you know, so, uh, and then uh, I see, you know, the difference in lifestyle, you know, so uh, I realize, uh, and uh, uh, like this time I was in Spain, in some, uh, you know, when I came from India, I thought I would be in, maybe in Spain, you think of, uh, what? Uh, you think of uh, Real Madrid, Barcelona, you know, so, so you think these big cities, you know. But uh, suddenly I'm in, a, in, a, in the middle of the national park, you know, which is uh, right up in some mountain, you know, there's, uh, there's uh, nothing around there, uh, you know. So, but a uh, few people, uh, you know, so they have a very nice village there. And uh, uh, I realized people there are still uh, living with uh, this, you know, system of uh, the whole system of, uh, 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 you know, uh, kind of uh, uh, giving and then, you know, provide from other side, you know, the same, you know, giving. You know, so it's not so much like uh, uh, 
Of course, business is there, you know, but then it's more like the olden days, you know, where uh, if you have, uh, let's say, uh, the person where I was, they, were, they had lots of this uh, uh, walnuts, you know, walnuts, and uh, uh, then uh, some other people around make cheese, you know, and then some other people make some other things, you know, so they would share with each other, you know, not sell, but share, you know, uh, if the other person has no walnuts, I would give walnut, and when I need a cheese, the other person would give me cheese. And so that way, and they would share with each other, and then they get together, you know, and then they're very, uh, ready to sing, ready to enjoy, you know, ready to, so that way, you know, very happy. You know, very simple, they're happy, you know, uh, because this, there's this uh, friendship around there. You know, the well-being of others were important. You know, so uh, that way, uh, though they were in the mountains, and not much, uh, you know, they didn't have these big houses, they didn't have, uh, you know, lots of money, yeah, but they were very happy, you know? And then I also go to these cities where people are very, you know, well off, live in very uh, expensive places, but they don't even know their neighbor, you know? Uh, and there are many instances where uh, somebody died and the other neighbor doesn't know, and after some time, the smell of the, you know, uh, decayed body, you know, comes and then people find out somebody's dead. You know, so that way, uh, you know, and then lots of uh, unhappiness, you know, because you are lonely, you know, you are surrounded by the four walls, you don't know your neighbor, if something happened, you know, uh, you are alone there, you know, so all of this. This is because of, uh, uh, you know, uh, only self, you know, I only, working for myself, you know, always I, you know, always worried about the well-being of yourself, not able to open up to others. You know, so this is the, uh, and these are the uh, observation ones, you know, sees. And uh, it makes a big difference, you know. So such people are not easy, you know, not easy to open up to others, you know, because of fear, you know, unnecessary but fear, you know, always, you know, that uh, because the fear comes because of self grasping, you know. So when the self is so important, then others are, you know, uh, you are afraid that others will, uh, you know, somehow uh, uh, create uh, you know, problems for this I, then you are always afraid, you know. So because of fear, then you. And you are going through so much uh, suffering. So that way, uh, it is, uh, I think, uh, very important to be able to open up, you know, to uh, open your heart. You know, it is very important. Uh, also, uh, uh, many years back, and I was, uh, I forget the place now, somewhere, in, it was in England, you know, some place, uh, in the uh, mountains, I met one lady, you know, a very old lady. Uh, she had uh, cancer, uh, but, uh, you know, she was living a very happy life. You know, though she had cancer, she was very positive. You know, I think she was somewhere around uh, 90, 90 something. And still, she goes out herself, you know, shopping and everything. And she makes her own food. Uh, you know, and she's a painter. You know, she's an artist. So she has a small house uh, in the middle of the street. And uh, so when we were there, uh, you know, she has a small garden of herself. And, and a very uh, jolly person, you know, very, very, uh, you know, and a very open-hearted person. So and then uh, we were there, she uh, hosted us for lunch, and then after the lunch, uh, we said, let's go. And then she invited me to go for a, a ice cream outside. You know? <laughs> so, so we went for ice cream, and then as we walked out, we said, you know, uh, because her house was just uh, on the street, so we said, you know, don't you have to lock your door? Because she forgot to lock the door when we walked a little distance. And then, uh, you know, we said, you know, you forgot to lock your door. And uh, she started laughing, you know, and she said, in her life she has never locked her door. You know, no matter where she goes, even if she goes to some uh, other place, and she never locks her door because she has the confidence in people. You know, not everyone is bad. You know, it is, uh, uh, it is you who have this doubt in others that create the rift between you and others. You know, so if you are open-hearted, if you have trust in others, then you will never be disappointed. You know, so she had this confidence, and this is a confidence of 90-something years talking. You know, so she has said she never locked her house in her entire life, you know, but she has uh, this confidence. You know, so, uh, so, she, so that is how it is. And then uh, as we were walking, you could see everybody living to her. You know, and she's living to everybody. You know, so she seemed to know everybody around there, and everybody seemed to be liking her. You know, so it is that way, you know, if you're an open a person, kind-hearted person, uh, then, uh, you know, you have trust in others, then it uh, reflects yourself, actually. You know, so that way, uh, it is reflecting yourself, it is like looking at a mirror, you know, so, 
So I think that is very important you know, to have that kind of uh, outlook, to have that kind of a character, uh, you know, improving yourself rather than trying to improve others. You know, so that is uh, that is in our hand. You know, uh, there is a great saying by the you know one of the great masters, and that. Uh, you know, one should uh, change oneself rather than trying to change others. Uh, it is like a very beautiful example is given that, that I always uh, you know, try to remember. He says that uh, if you want to uh, walk you know, or walk on a, you know, uh, a certain distance, like uh, let's say you, you plan to uh, trek around the world, uh, you know, if you want to pave the entire path in the world, is very difficult. You, know, you cannot make the road all over the world all the time, and it is impossible. You know, but if instead of doing that, if you wear a nice shoe under your own feet, uh, which you can, then you can walk wherever you want to go. You know, no matter what the road is, uh, you will be able to walk on that. You know, so uh, which means that one must change oneself rather than trying to change others outside that. You know, so that way, then one will be able to do that because you yourself, you are the master of yourself. You know, you can change yourself. But someone out there, uh, uh, difficult, you know, uh, difficult to change. You, you cannot tell somebody to do something. You know, it's very difficult. Also, that way, one must change oneself. So that is, uh, I think, that is uh, more uh, important and more practical also. And so, uh, so I always remember this uh, uh, example. It's a very good example. The minute I saw this. Uh, you know, uh, teaching it uh, struck me, you know, and I always remember. So whenever you think of somebody not doing something, you look at yourself. You know what is the reason, and then you find the answer within yourself. You know, so trying to change yourself. Hmm. <coughs> so, so when we are able to do this, and then uh, as a result, uh, we will, uh, you know. Uh, 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 we will uh, automatically uh, feel, uh, you know, a great confidence in ourselves. Nowadays, people talk of lots of problems, no self-confidence. You know, uh, people are, uh, you know, uh, are very, uh, how do you say, uh, because of this problem, you know, not able to open the heart to others, and then, uh, uh, you know, one lacks confidence in oneself. You know, so, if one is able to open up to others, and then one uh, builds one's confidence. Why? Because one is not afraid of uh, uh, getting hurt by others. You know, one is not afraid of uh, 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 you know all these uh, 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 negative things. You know, because one is open to everything. You know, one is always thinking of others. You know, when one thinks of others, then uh, this eye becomes very. Uh, you know, uh, there's not much strength in this eye. You know, so when there's not much strength in this eye, uh, then uh, what is there to lose confidence in? You know, what is there to be afraid of? You know, you are always caring for the others. You know, so everybody out there is caring for themselves out there. You know, so when you are able to do that, you will become a great joy for everybody out there. You know, because uh, you are able to provide happiness for everyone there. And of course they will be happy. You know, they will not be very upset with you because you are trying to be good to them. You know, so that way if you are able to, uh, uh, you know, able to do that, then everyone out there will appreciate you. You know, so that way uh, uh, you will be able to bring happiness to others and you have no fear. If you have very strong self-centeredness, selfishness, and then always trying to satisfy your own needs at, you know, at the cost of others, then everybody out there will not like you. you know, because you are alone, you are here. And you know, all of them out there uh, are you know, not appreciative of your, of your such uh, action or behavior. You know, so, of course, you need to protect yourself. You know, you're always afraid somebody will do something to you. You know, you're always afraid, uh, you know, so this fear uh, built in you. You know, so always suffering that way. You know, so in that terms also you see, you know, if uh, the less uh, uh, self-centered, the less uh, you have, you know, attachment to this I, then the more happy you are. You know, the more independent you are, the more, uh, you know, confident you are. Uh, so, so that is how it works. People think sometimes, you know, in this world, people think, you know, if you don't give importance to this I, uh, then you will lose out on it. You know, uh, uh, you will, uh, uh, people will uh, kind of, uh, what do you say? Uh, uh, yeah, basically they have this fear, you know, that if I don't look after myself, if I don't give importance to myself, if I, uh, you know, neglect myself, uh, then, uh, uh, then, you know, uh, I will not be 
be able to take care of myself. Mm -hmm. It will get uh, uh, how, how to say? It will get harmed. It will be uh, you know so that way. But actually, it doesn't work that way. You know, practically, it is the opposite. You know, so when one understands this, then uh, one is one is able to open up to others, able to be uh, you know think of others um, you know first and then yourself. Then automatically, when it works, it works in your favor. You know, you will uh, be happier. Uh, people will love you, you will be the person for everybody, uh, you know. Uh, so, uh, that way, uh, your life will be a meaningful life also. You know, meaningful life, happy life, comfortable life. Uh, so, that is, uh, uh, that is uh, why I feel it's very important to open up you know, and uh, open your heart to everybody. You know, not uh, always uh, uh, you know, uh, self-centered, not always thinking of the importance why, you know, rather think of the importance for others. You know, that is, I think, uh, the key to uh, self happiness also, you know, self satisfaction also. You know, so that is very important. <coughs> you know, talking in uh, Ireland, UK, no rest. You know, <laughs> you continue talking in some places where you need translator. Very good. <laughs> you, know, you have a lot of rest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so that is why uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, understanding all this, then we should uh, start our day, uh, you know, uh, very positively every day. So when you wake up, try to make a uh, you know kind of a positive commitment, and saying today I will uh, do something positive, or I will uh, you know uh, create a, a positive environment around me. And so that kind of It is nice to start the day positively, uh, and then uh, uh, you know, uh, and uh, even if not able to do something nice for others, at least refrain from doing harm to others. You know, creating a negative energy around others. You know, so at least refrain from doing that. You know, so if one makes that kind of a commitment every day, uh, yes, uh, on your first day, second day, you will face disappointment. You know, uh, maybe uh, your expectations will not be met. Uh, but that doesn't mean uh, one cannot. You know, we are so used to the habitual pattern of uh, self, uh, you know, importance. You know, so uh, out of which all the other confusion arises. So gradually, you know, gradually, day by day, we keep uh, making such uh, positive, uh, uh, such positive uh, commitment in the morning when we wake up, and then try to carry that through the day. And gradually, uh, day by day, one will improve that way. You know, one will see a more positive day. One will, uh, you know, have a, a, a energetic, uh, you know, a valued day, day by day. And so that way, uh, one will be able to make a difference uh, uh, first in one's own uh, family, and then in one's working community, in one's uh, town, in one's city, you know, gradually uh, to the entire. And so that way, one will uh, improve. And so very important to start. And so commitment is very important. Uh, uh, we always, you know, like even in uh, when we do something, and let's say for example, uh, uh, you know, we take, uh, we want to do many things. Like we say in our, uh, you know, nowadays lots of people uh, become uh, vegetarian. You know, which is uh, I think uh, good. Though I'm not, you know, but uh, uh, but uh, yeah, so, uh, I think it's very good. You know, because uh, you are not. Well, there's two aspects of it. You know, some become vegetarian for the sake of wanting to be uh, recognized as vegetarian. You know, so uh, so that is not a uh, well. That is still good because you are you know being vegetarian, but not good because you are boosting your ego. You know, so uh, so in that terms, this uh, you know still this downfall to it. Yeah, but uh, those who are doing it, uh, you know, with true intention of wanting to uh, give up harming, uh, you know, other beings, and uh, giving up that, and giving up your, uh, you know, uh, intake of uh, meat, uh, it is a very uh, good, uh, you know, intention. It is a good motivation. And so definitely, you know, I have great respect to such people. Uh, it is wonderful. Uh, yeah. So, but it is said that. You know, uh, if you make a commitment, you know, saying that I will not intake such, I will become a vegetarian, make commitment and then become a vegetarian.
vegetarian, and that is very, very powerful. You know, so, uh, and there are many people who don't make a commitment, but just don't take. You know, so that is not uh, very uh, powerful, you know, not very uh, powerful, so that way. Uh, because it uh, uh, could be, you know, one day uh, you feel like uh, eating, you get to a nice place with a nice dish, and then you say, oh, I haven't made any commitment, you know, so maybe I try it today, you know, and then you take. You know, so in that way, you know, with the commitment is much more stronger. And then because you feel you have taken a commitment, and that makes uh, extra kind of a pressure in you. You know, so because of the pressure to overcome that, you know, needs uh, you know uh, mental strength. You know, so that way uh, it uh, benefits you. You know, and mentally it will develop you that way also. You know, so that is why uh, commitment is also important. So in the morning, if one can make a commitment, you know, of doing a good thing, uh, you know, able to create some good uh, energy environment for others on that day, and then and that will be a very good commitment. You know, and then when you are able to do that, rejoice for it. You know, rejoicing is very important. You know, through rejoicing, that one can uh, develop one's uh, such commitment activity further. You know, so that is also important. Uh, and others' action, one must rejoice. You know, it is said that if you rejoice for others' well-being, others' good action, then uh, you know the and the uh, merit is equally shared. You know, if somebody else does something uh, great, then the merit accumulated. If we rejoice for that, uh, you know, uh, genuinely rejoicing for it, then we will also receive the same amount of merit, uh, because we have rejoiced for that person's action. So though we might not have the conditions or you know the uh, uh, means to do the same, but mentally we can uh, do anything. You know, so if we rejoice in the same way with the same uh, genuine, uh, you know. Uh, heart, then we will receive it, uh, but not rejoice for the sake of receiving the merit. You know, that, 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 is, uh, that is another thing. You know, so, uh, so that way, you know, if one can do that. You know, so, uh, how does it help? Is rejoicing uh, reduces our uh, jealousy. You know, uh, jealousy is one of the mental uh, confusions which create lots of suffering for us. Uh, and then acts of generosity, you know, giving. You know, it, uh, it uh, whatever, you know, giving doesn't have to be uh, only material, you know, giving can be in so many ways, you know, uh, uh, your uh, thought, you know, your heart, uh, your, you know, your uh, uh, good intention, uh, and so many, you know, your wisdom, you know, so there's so many uh, ways of giving, you know, generosity, act of generosity, and so through that, uh, it will, uh, you know, it will, uh, uh, how do you say, it is an antidote for our, uh, uh, you, you, know, uh, uh, you know, how, how do you say, uh, uh, greed, you know, our greed, you know, so, uh, so that way, uh, which is the cause of the suffering, you know, so that way one is able to do these acts, then, uh, you know, it benefits that way, you know, so, uh, so it is very important. Now, now so, uh, yes, so, here yeah, again, uh, you know, uh, I have another very beautiful story, uh, uh, experienced recently, you know. I was in, uh, before coming here, uh, I visited Venice, you know, in Italy, Venice. Uh, because uh, when in my school days, I remember studying um, Merchant of Venice, yeah, the Shakespeare. So, uh, you know, we had to do that. And then, so of course, you know, they said, Do you want to visit Venice? So I said, Of course. You know, so, uh, though I didn't find uh, Antonio's home, you know, or Sonia's home, I did not find, but uh, you know, it was very good. Uh, so, uh, so when we were going around uh, Venice, uh, then on our way back to the, because you cannot take the car inside, you know, because there's no road, you know, you have to either walk or go on boats, you know. Uh, so the cars parked somewhere quite far outside, and then while coming back, we took the uh, boat taxi there, you know, it's a taxi, but a boat, public transport. So, uh, in there, and then there was one young lady, uh, who was the, you know, uh, uh, what do you say, the, they call conductor, the one who opens the door, checks, uh, you know, the, uh, and the ticket, everything is machine, you know, but she opens the door, lets people in out that way. Uh, so, uh, a very, uh, you know, uh, lively person, you know, uh, shouting and, you know, like uh, uh, somebody comes, she will say, please stand there, not there, uh, you know, don't uh, block the road, and uh, somebody comes like this, and a very lively, and everybody is uh, very, uh, you know, uh, kind of, uh, uh, showing faces to each other, you know, and she's shouting like this, and uh, that kind of thing. 
and then uh, in one stop, one uh, uh, one oh, old lady came. You know, again must be somewhere around eighties. I'm not sure. You know, but she came, and then she came inside, and then of course this lady was still shouting like this. You know, and then the old lady came first. She spoke to us. She was very happy. You know, she hugged us and. She was all oh, yeah, very nice to see. Uh, you know, I mean, not, it's not common that you see such people around, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so she was very happy, and she said, "Oh, you know, Dalai Lama saved her life." You know, I don't know how but she said that. <laughs> and then, uh, and then uh, she said, "You know, I'm very happy to see all of you and this and that." And then, uh, then she saw this lady, you know, shouting and telling this and that. And then she went to the lady, and she was laughing and hugging. She was saying, "I'm so happy to see a young lady like you, so active and so strong, you know, uh, uh, doing all this, and you know, it's very good and this and that." And she started, you know, uh, creating such a positive environment around that. Suddenly, this young girl who everyone was staring at and not easy with, suddenly became very, you know, uh, everybody started enjoying her, and everybody uh, started, uh, you know, uh, like. In the place, and everybody was so touched by this uh, lady. You know, so it is like that. You know, one person when it's so positive, the entire environment you know, becomes uh, so harmonious. Something that is perceived negative becomes positive. You know, because of this lady, <coughs> of this uh, girl. You know, she was, uh, you know, telling her keep up with it, you know, and then, uh, you know, keep doing this is very good. You know, you young girl doing like this, and she started praising. She started saying nice things there, and then changed. You know, entire situation changed, and everybody uh, started uh, looking at this girl as uh, something nice, you know, positive. You know, and then she was happy also, and not so uh, did not show a black face at anybody. You know, in fact, she was doing that through, uh, you know, turned into a, a entertainment, you know, rather than a, a you know, kind of. A, uh, you know, kind of forceful act, you know. So that way it changes, you know, it changes the uh, situations, uh, everything comes like this. So if you are warm hearted, if you are open, uh, you know, uh, so everything around you becomes like that. And that is why I think she also lived so long, you know, with such a character, with such a you know, mental state. I could see she is also somewhere around 90, you know, so you live longer, you know. So then now there is a scientific you know, proof also. And, you know, if you are mentally happy, then you are physically also healthier. You know, you live longer also. You know, whereas if you are mentally not happy, then it affects your physical also. You know, so a health also. So that way, of course, it makes a difference. You know, so uh, so that is uh, proof. You know, you experience, you look around, you see things like these, and then it uh, you know, kind of reflects. You know, so one must try to do this. You know, one must be uh, able to uh, generate this. And for Tibetans. Uh, and not only Tibetans, now for uh, the world also, you know, like for example, this old Dalai Lama, you know, he's a great uh, example also, you know, though uh, he has lost uh, his, uh, you know, uh, we have lost our country, uh, you know, uh, our main, uh, you know, we have the majority of the uh, students, uh, the sponsors, supporters are Chinese, you know, so it is not that Chinese are bad, you know, it's uh, just some of them have the wrong, you know, idea, have the wrong, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know the, the wrong uh, thing that these things, situations happen, but that doesn't mean everybody is bad. You know, uh, so he never had ill feelings for anybody like that. You know, so uh, that is how it is. You know, you're open to everybody. You know, so when that happens, uh, and the Chinese people themselves are, you know, the strongest, uh, you know, one of the strongest practitioners of the uh, Buddha Dharma, you know, strongest supporter of the Buddha Dharma. You know, so not everybody is bad. You know, there are very good people. But when you are very, uh, you know, kind of narrow, you know, your outlook is very narrow, self-centered, <coughs> then you think, oh, uh, the name Chinese comes, you get upset, you know, and then you say, oh, Chinese, you enable them to be bad, you know. Uh, so it doesn't, it isn't like that, you know, it isn't. So one must be open, you know, one must be warm-hearted to everything, and then you are able to see the reality of what it is. You know, so that way, you are also happy. You know, you are happier. Uh, because you see the reality, you, know, you don't create a misconception around you, you know, through which uh, one uh, uh, experiences various uh, sufferings through these confusions. You know, so I think uh, these are great examples, and that is why he's also very uh, you know, respected nowadays, you know, so that way. And then uh, we have, uh, you know, right from small uh, child, childhood, uh, because my father was a great uh, an admirer of, uh, you know, the uh, Mother Teresa, now you call her a saint, right? She's yeah. a saint. So, uh, so it was a great admirer of her. So he always used to uh, tell me, you know, try to be like her. She's an example. Every uh, in every uh, program on the TV uh, of her, he used to make me sit and watch. You know, so uh, so it was like this. You know.
uh, so uh, because you know, because she worked for the others, you know, because she dedicated her life for others, then she is uh, you know, uh, respected. Uh, she is uh, uh, you know. Uh, I don't think she wants respect. You know, I don't think she did all this for respect. You know, but she genuinely did it. And so when you genuinely do it, you are automatically uh, you know uh, become the love of everybody. You know, so that is how she. That is why she is respected and you know uh, uh, attained sainthood. Otherwise, uh, if she did it for a selfish reason, I don't think she would reach anywhere. You know, uh, and there are many other people who are more, you know, powerful but use that for a selfish purpose and then created the most uh, destructible history in the past. You know, uh, 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 history in the past. You know, through uh, selfish reasons. You know, through self-centered these kind of hatred. You know, so uh, so it is that way. You know, even if you have power, uh, if you have this kind of a, a negative mental outlook, then you are not able to benefit anyone, and as a you know, result, you yourself are not happy. You know, you I used to people take me around again. You know, when I visit to these places, you know, historical places, and uh, these powerful people uh, go, uh, you know, uh, ruled and do, did so many of these things. Uh, when they take you to this uh, you know, secret houses, they have so many secret houses. And then there are so many uh, ways, tunnels to go through their houses. You know, there is, and it, is, it shows, you know, the fear. You know, though they are powerful there, they are always in fear. You know, they cannot even stay in one house, uh, you know, happily. You know, they have to run around in each house, changing their house every, uh, in a few days. Uh, you know, that was not openly, but running under the, you know, uh, under the earth. You know, so, uh, so what is the use? You know, uh, you have money, you have power, but you have no peace of mind. You know, you are not happy. You know, always suffering. Not great everybody, but when you the bomb in the land on your house, you know, so, so it is like this, you know, so it's no use. And so that way it is very important uh, to have an uh, open, uh, you know, kind heart, and so that you yourself will be, you know, uh, able to uh, achieve uh, happiness to that. And so, you know, so that is called inner peace, I think, you know, so and, uh, uh, inner peace is nothing more than this. And, uh, it is, uh, yeah, so that way, and then. Um, <coughs> And uh, I always uh, also uh, tell people, uh, you know, keep reminding uh, that uh, all this, you know, good quality is possible. Uh, uh, you know, not you don't have to acquire this from somewhere outside. You know, you have this quality in you. That is why it is possible. You know, so if we want to, uh, uh, you know, uh, have this, we have it in us. And this is called the. Uh, you know, the uh, perfect uh, limitless potential in ourselves. That is also why in Buddhist terms is called the Buddha nature, you know, which is the enlightened nature, <coughs> uh, perfect nature. Uh, all of us beings have this in us. And the quality of that is wisdom and limitless potential. You know? So that is the quality of our nature. Irrespective of who we are, what we are, you know, we all have this quality in us. And this is the base uh, you know, this is the base uh, with which we are, we can uh, become, uh, you know, like uh, uh, Mother Teresa. We can become like, uh, uh, you know, His Holiness Dalai Lama. And we can become uh, Buddha. You know, we can become all that because we have this nature in us. Uh, if we don't have this quality in us, then it is very difficult to become something that we are not. You know, but we have this quality in us, so we can become that. The quality of this nature of us is wisdom, is limitless potential. You know, so, because we have this limitless potential, anything is possible. You know, it, it can uh, it can develop into anything. Uh, but uh, because of our uh, you know uh, confusion created through uh, mental afflictions such as uh, jealousy, uh, ego, uh, hatred, uh, you know, uh, self-centeredness, uh, these kind of things. And then it uh, somehow uh, temporarily, uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, covers or shadows this uh, uh, great quality in us. Uh, but uh, gradually, through the practice of uh, loving kindness, compassion, through the practice of, uh, you know, uh, uh, of exchanging uh, one's self for others, you know, so that way, putting yourself in others' shoes putting others in your shoe, you know, and then uh, uh, contemplating this way. Then gradually, uh, you know, through these methods, then one will uh, wash away this uh, dirt, 
which is covering this beautiful uh, nature which is in us. And I think that today we will recognize this uh, uh, you know, great primordial limitless nature in us. And that is, and when it is fully recognized, when it is fully manifest, then that is called enlightenment, or that is called liberation, or that is called uh, Buddha. You know. And so, uh, so basically, we are trying to do this. You know. So, uh, so as I say always, like a, you know, example, uh, like a clean cloth. You know, if if you have the clean clothes, then if you wear and you know for a few days it becomes dirty. Uh, there's a you know you can wash it and achieve the clean clothes again because the base is that you have the clean clothes. You know, but if you uh, uh, for if, if you if the clothes by itself from by its nature is dirt, no matter how much you wash, there's no use. You know, because it cannot be cleaned. You know, because its nature itself is dirt. You know, so our nature is not like that. You know, our nature is like the uh, clean shell. You know, it is clean. It is a limitless potential. You know, it is wisdom. You know, it is perfect. But because of uh, the confusions, because of the limitation of you know the mental afflictions, and then uh, temporarily being stained by the dust on the shell. You know, so like that it has been. Uh, uh, you know, uh, it has been contaminated by this. So gradually, through the practice of uh, uh, you know what I mentioned, so gradually we uh, will overcome this. You know, so and then the best practice is because all this confusion arises from self. You know, I. You know, so much clinging onto this I. You know, you check all your confusions, all your sufferings arise because of this I actually. You know, so when we don't uh, recognize this world, then I become so important to us. You know, uh, I even met uh, one person, and this was many years back, uh, in Birmingham. Once I was, uh, you know, we were just walking around the street, and then one young boy came up to me, and he said, uh, you know, I feel, I feel very sad for all of you, you know, because uh, you guys talk of, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, the uh, no self, you know, you, you guys say that identity, you know, self-grasping is no good, but he sees that as the most uh, precious thing, you know. Uh, uh, you guys talking as I feel sad for you. What can I say? You know, I, you know, uh, I just meet, meet him on the road for a short time. If I say something, I know you use no time. I said thank you very much for having so much uh, uh, compassion to us. You know, so uh, it's very good. You know, so thank you. Then somehow I don't know. At the back uh, with one of my monk, he managed to get the uh, address of the you know the center there in Birmingham. Uh, then, uh, then he went back. Maybe uh, normally he gets some reaction, you know. But uh, here, uh, you know, uh, maybe because of my laziness, you know, I don't know. He did not get any reaction. You know, I guess that made him think, you know, what he was saying. You know, so I heard after a few years that he came to the center and became a, uh, you know, a student study. You know, and then he started, uh, you know, so intellectually when he started. I see, you know, what he said, trying to, you know, uh, test it. Uh, then he will see, you know, and then he realized, you know, that uh, such thing really doesn't uh, exist. You know, really doesn't benefit you in any way. You know, so when he saw that, then he wanted to get deeper into the, you know, the uh, uh, the uh, understanding of what it is, and then became gradually became a, uh, you know, uh, I don't know now, why, you know, what, but uh, I heard he became a. I, you know, uh, I don't know whether you can call it a practitioner, but you know, he became somebody who thought about this, you know, who got interested in this, you know, which is very good, I think. You know, so, uh, so, uh, so I think uh, uh, that is how uh, one uh, must, uh, uh, how do you say, be. You know, so, uh, uh, so even a person like him, when uh, you know, one, so I'm sure, I'm sure that he faced some kind of problem. You know, and then uh, we say people who come to the uh, Dharma all have some problem with the other. You know, and then because of this they turn towards somewhere for some uh, help. And then gradually they find that the help is within themselves. You know, you don't look for help somewhere outside there. You know, because if you are subject to somebody outside there, and then it's uh, I think it's a little difficult. You know, because uh, uh, you are, as I said, you know, you are dependent on somebody else. You know, when you're dependent on somebody else, then you are pretty much powerless, you know. Uh, but uh, here, it is not like this. You know, we say we have this wisdom in us. We have this limitless potential in us. Our nature is, uh, we have all this quality in us. So, uh, we are the masters of ourselves. You know, we can uh, achieve all this within ourselves. So, rather than looking outside there to achieve, we look inside and 
uh, and until I learn that which is in you. And so that is uh, and that is how we look at it. And that is how we practice to, to that is why we meditate. And we meditate so that we recognize the nature of our mind. You know, which is <coughs> which is limitless potential. You know, so and that is liberation. You know, that is that is free of all confusion. You know, but when not recognized then confused with and lots of uh, limitations. Uh, starting from the self, you know, grasping. So when I recognize it is beyond uh, such a limitation, and so that is uh, liberation. And so, and so uh, starting from there, and then, uh, yeah, so from there, and then we develop the inner peace. And through inner peace, then world peace is possible. You know, without inner peace, then world peace is uh, you know, not possible. You know, first it has to start from yourself. You know, so when you are able to uh, develop peace within yourself, when you are able to generate, uh, you know, then the world which you live in becomes a peaceful world. You know, so, uh, so that is, I think, how uh, one can work towards, one can work. Uh, you know. So it is not something that is impossible because you have this in you. you know, so because you have it in you, it is possible. You know, so uh, uh, how do we do it? As I said, first step, open yourself. You know, be a kind person and be a, a person for others rather than a person for yourself. You know, so when you are able to do this, then you are able to uh, bring about uh, you know, uh, great joy, bring about great uh, you know, love, harmony around you. That automatically brings happiness in yourself. You know, so that way then uh, uh, one will become a great uh, example for others. And uh, ones who follow you also, you know, you will be a great example. That way, then, uh, you know, you will, uh, uh, you will benefit uh, others, and in turn, benefit yourself. That is, that you don't have to think too much. You know, it will happen by itself. It's, it's like when you eat food. You know, you don't have to worry whether you will get food. You know, because when you eat food, uh, you know, getting food is part of it. You know, uh, there's no way that you can eat and not be full. You know, so, uh, so it is like this. You know, so when you think of uh, others to benefit others, uh, uh, benefiting yourself is like that, you know, it will happen automatically. You know, so, uh, so if you, uh, if you uh, are very negative about that, then you can reflect a little bit of, you just try that. You know, without trying, nothing is possible. If you just keep it as that, and I don't believe it, that is doubt, you know. If doubt is good, because through doubt, then you want the answer to it. But if you don't look for the answer, keep doubt on top of a doubt, then that doubt is bad. That is ignorance. You know, that is stupidity. You know, so, so that way you will never get your answer. You know, because you create doubt, doubt, and just leave doubt as doubt. You know, but if you use that doubt in a productive way and uh, look into it and try to clear your doubt, then that doubt was useful. You know, because of that doubt, you get your answer. You know, so, uh, it is, uh, so one should do that way. So one uh, should utilize, one should practice, see you know, how it helps, you know, thinking about this, whether it's really beneficial, you know, uh, doing acts of uh, you know, uh, you know, benefiting others, whether it is really useful. You know, and then you see, you know, when you do it, you will see the result. And you will see that, yes, it helps me. You know, so when you see that, then you will develop joy in it, you will develop confidence in it, then you will become gradually you know, uh, what you do, you will become that. You know, so and that is how you start. You know, so first you have to start, you have to do something. You know, otherwise it will not just happen that way. Uh, then if you really think it doesn't work, then nobody forces you. you know, nobody <laughs> forces you to do it. You know, but uh, uh, if you do it genuinely, 100% sure it will work. It has worked till now and it will work. You know, so there is no question of it not being effective. You know, but uh, doing it is important. You know, so not just, uh, not just listening and uh, just leaving it there, but try to uh, you know, make difference through action, and you know, that is the most important. You know, so uh, through action. Mm. So uh, okay. So what's the time? Yeah. Okay. So uh, if any uh, uh, questions or anything like that, and uh, as I said, question or sharing, you know, <laughs> so whichever. Okay. Especially now, the mindfulness is really a buzzword. Um, but lots of people, I think, including myself, I include myself, um, we see meditation as kind of 
blissing up. And some people come to meditation with this idea that it's you're just completely peaceful and at ease. And when inevitably you hit some kind of obstruction or something apart, people give up or walk away and say, oh, it, it, it's not working. Mm -hmm. uh, I was wondering if you could say something about that or kind of say something as regards, because we all hit obstacles and we come to the idea that the meditation is that when we inevitably hit obstacles, people get discouraged or walk away. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, when I was uh, introduced to meditation, and uh, when I was uh, in the first led towards the meditation, the first thing I was again and again and again, uh, you know, put into my head was, uh, I stop expecting. <laughs> you, know, yeah. you have to be free of expectation. You know, that is the biggest obstacle to your uh, practice or your meditation. You know, the, uh, of course, uh, everybody has expectation, of course, uh, but uh, uh, when putting it into practice, you don't put into practice with this uh, uh, only intention of uh, you know uh, expecting expecting great improvement straight away. You know, so if you have that kind of expectation all the time, then uh, most of the time uh, you know you will be pretty disappointed uh, because uh, meditation. You know, uh, well now there's many many again different types of meditation. You know, the, uh, starting from the shamatha meditation, which which is just uh, you know trying to achieve a calm abiding state of mind. You know, so that is uh, one kind of uh, meditation. And uh, then as you in that also there is many stages of meditation. And when you are able to do that, then gradually you move to when that becomes stable. You know, it is like a camera. You know, so uh, camera first you need a strong uh, tripod for the camera to take good picture. You know, so uh, so the tripod is like a uh, shamatha meditation, you know, which is trying to uh, uh, obtain a calm, abiding state of mind. When your mind is not calm, uh, it is confused with many uh, conflicting emotions, and you don't see the situation as it is. You don't see the picture as it is. You know, but uh, uh, then when you have a strong shamatha meditation, which is like a strong uh, you know, the uh, tripod, then you get the uh, clear picture. And that clear picture is the, uh, you know, the uh, vipassana, we say, uh, which is the insight into the uh, mind itself, you know, the nature of the mind itself. You know, so, uh, you know, so that is the vipassana meditation. That is the higher you know, stage of the meditation. So, uh, in that also, there are now many, many uh, levels. Uh, so, uh, so in general, when one is doing uh, meditation, uh, sometimes, as you said, you will, you know, you will have very good. A meditation period uh, where you feel you know, very uh, you know, light, uh, very uh, you know, free from all pains, uh, you know, worries, that kind of thing. Uh, sometimes you will not be able to uh, concentrate at all. You, know, you will have lots of uh, uh, disturbance. Uh, you know, uh, your mind just doesn't settle at all. You know, so these kind of things will happen. You know, sometimes you have bad experiences also. In a meditation, then in that you have lots of fear, lots of uh, uh, you know, kind of uh, agitation. You know, so these kind of experiences will happen. You know, but these are nothing but experience. You know, so uh, nothing but and created through one's thoughts. You know, and so, uh, uh, and the base of the meditation itself is, you know, one uh, does not uh, uh, cling on, uh, cling on to the past thoughts. You know, past thoughts will appear. You cannot stop your thought. You know, lots of people have this uh, wrong uh, you know, idea that when you are meditating, you are supposed to stop thinking. You know, and it is impossible to stop thinking. You know, <laughs> if you try to do that, that itself is the creation of another thought. You know, so when you are trying to stop thinking, that itself is another thought. You know, so it is impossible to stop thinking. You know, but uh, uh, but it is possible to not to get uh, distracted by the thoughts. And you know, it is possible to not be slaved by the thoughts. Uh, that is possible. You know, so how you do that is, uh, you know, so not clinging on to the past thoughts uh, and not, uh, uh, not, uh, uh, how do you say, uh, not holding on to the, uh, you know, not, uh, I don't get the exact image, chasing. Huh? Chasing. Uh, chasing the future thoughts, you know, and yeah, anticipating, chasing the future thoughts and, uh, and not getting distracted by the present thoughts, mm -hmm. you know, uh, so carried away by the present thoughts. You know, so that is important to remember. You know, so thoughts will happen, appear. You know, but uh, while doing meditation, whatever source you are using as meditation, you know, like your breathing or like an object, so you just use that as the uh, source to rest your mind. You know, so when you are able to do that, 
then uh, you know, gradually, of course, not easy in the beginning, but gradually, then the thoughts which appear, which are the uh, you know, uh, uh, which are the creation of various uh, uh, emotions, you know, so uh, which create lots of uh, you know confusion. And so one is able to uh, gradually uh, not get disturbed or not get uh, affected by these. You know, and then mind is able to focus on this whatever uh, uh, source you are using on. You know, so resting the mind as it is, you not know, there. So uh, beginning, of course, you know, uh, thoughts will disturb you. You will have these, you know, uh, various kinds of experiences. But gradually, then one will be able to overcome that. So it has to be a gradual process. You know, one has to understand it is not uh, overnight, or it will not happen just by uh, three sessions, four sessions of meditation. You know, it will not appear that way. You know, it is very difficult. But you might get a very good meditation in first session, second session, and third session will be very bad. You know, fourth will be okay, fifth will be very bad, and you will continue to have bad meditation for some time. You know, and then, uh, and then that is the period when people give up uh, meditation. Uh, actually, it is not that they are having these, uh, you know, uh, lots of thoughts or disturbing emotions. Actually, we always have this. But normally, we are not aware of these things. You know, when we are not meditating, we are not aware. We just continue to go after them. And so, uh, when you continue to go after either the past, present or future thoughts, then you are carried away in this, and then we are not mindful at that moment. You know? So we are carried away. <coughs> but when you are doing the meditation, and so gradually when you are improving a little bit, then you will start seeing you know, that your mind is getting distracted. You know, it is not aware, it is not mindful at the moment, it is being affected by these, you know, past, present, future thoughts. So, when you recognize that, then you, re so actually you are recognizing this, and then you are bringing back your thought. You know, so, when you start recognizing this, more and more when you start recognizing, then you feel, you know, like you are not able to meditate. But actually, you are seeing, you know, that your mind is wandering. And so, when you recognize that, that itself is awareness. You know, but it is important not to go after that. You know, it's important when you recognize that the awareness will come back you know, to the meditation itself. You know, so that is important. You know, so bringing back. You know, so recognizing it and then bringing back. You know, so uh, through that, then gradually you know, one will improve. You know, so less expectation. Understand it doesn't come overnight. You know, and, uh, <coughs> because when we expect, we already create a lot of uh, mental, you know, uh, uh, confusions, mental, uh, you know, kind of tension. So when that tension is there, then one is not able to relax, one is not able to maintain the, you know, the uh, calm of the state. So it is very important to have this, you know, uh, 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 unexpected, uh, unnecessary hope. You know, hope creates fear. You know, and then, uh, then that helps lots of, uh, uh, you know, uh, lots of uh, confusion. So be at what you are doing. You know, remain there. You know, be realistic at what you are doing, and not creating unrealistic things. You know, so that is uh, that is I think important. So that is the first advice you get when you get into meditation. You know, to have uh, uh, less expectation. And expectation doesn't mean don't uh, you know don't wish for improvement. You know, it doesn't mean that. But don't create you know uh, don't create uh, unnecessary uh, you know uh, things which uh, you know which you will get disappointed by. So we shouldn't do that kind of thing. So that is called, uh, you know, that is what I mean by expectation. I don't mean you don't want to reach, uh, you know, indictment or you don't want to discover the nature of your mind. That's why I want to meditate. And that's stupid. Yeah, we are not doing meditation for that. You know, so, uh, so that way, so one must understand when I say uh, no expectation. You know, it means uh, not to create this kind of, uh, you know, uh, false hopes which will create more pressure on yourself. Thank you. And also not to get overjoyed by the good result, you know, <laughs> because then you will be attached to that, yeah. and then that will always be with you. You want to achieve again the same thing that I achieved yesterday, you know, but yesterday is yesterday, today is today, you know, tomorrow is tomorrow, and how can you get the same thing yesterday today, because yesterday is gone, you know, so it is impossible to get today yesterday, you know, so it is changed, you know, so that way you cannot, you know, you just cannot, so if you keep holding on to yesterday that way, it is impossible, you know, that is, uh, uh, you know, that is also confusion, so, uh, so one frees oneself from such confusion. Okay. Thank you.
Could I ask a personal question, Rinpoche, yeah. about the time when you were recognized uh, as your uh, incarnation? Yeah. What was your experience? How old were you? Yeah. I was uh, two and a half or three. <laughs> so my, my experience is uh, it's, uh, it's zero. <laughs> <laughs>
You've just completed a, a three-year retreat. So what has it done for you? How are you different? Well, I like it. Well, I think, uh, as I said, a uh, three-year uh, retreat is good, but uh, one has to be realistic. You know? uh, of course, if one can practice like how the great masters like Milarepa, uh, you know, I don't know if you've heard of Milarepa, but like Milarepa is who practiced, uh, you know, 24 hour, seven day, you know, a week, practice that way, not even having a sleep, sleep as a practice. We have sleep yoga, you know, mm -hmm. dream yoga, uh, you know, we have uh, uh, all kind of practice, you know, throughout. So, such practitioners practice throughout, you know, not even wasting one moment, and then they attained a complete enlightenment in one lifetime. Uh, if you ask me if I did that in retreat, I didn't do it. <laughs> so, so that is why I'm here. You know, uh, uh, so that way, uh, I had my limitations. So, depending on those limitations, the results are also limited. You know, but uh, if I say, did it benefit me? Yes, it did benefit me. Uh, because, uh, as you can see, when you're out, you're always busy. You know, you're either going here, either going there, doing this, doing that, you know, trying to share your thoughts, which I don't know is really beneficial or not. You know, so, so, that way you're kept busy all the time. But in there, you're totally, you know, uh, somewhere to do uh, practice. Uh, trying to you know, meditating, looking at the nature of your mind, and so that way you know always practicing, you know, always practicing. Uh, then uh, first, as I said, uh, you know it takes time. You know after some time, uh, then it becomes uh, more uh, smoother. You know, and then you get uh, some kind of experiences. You know, so uh, yes, so if you say experiences, yes, I did. You know nature of mind. Uh, if one has uh, you know uh, experience, yes. Uh, if I say, uh, have I realized it? You know, no. You know, if I realized it, I'm enlightened. You know, so I'm not. You know, so uh, through experience. So uh, it has through this uh, three year, it has helped me to experience and find some confidence in it. So now, if I continue doing it, then gradually it will develop. You know, so it is a starting point. You know, it is starting. And like uh, when you learn driving, you know, uh, uh, in order to learn driving, you go to a driving school first. You know, there you are put through intensive uh, uh, learning, you know, where all the conditions are created for you to, you know, learn driving well. You know, so you go there and learn everything. You know, but after finishing, if you don't keep driving, and then you will never improve. You know, uh, you will learn in the driving school for say seven days or one month or whatever you learn. Uh, one month, I don't know. It's for seven days if you learn. Then you will learn how everything works, how to do everything. You basically you are taught everything there. So after coming out, then if you continue to practice that, then you will become a perfect driver. But if you stop, you know, uh, driving, and then though you have learned, uh, you know, you will not become a perfect driver. You know, so same way in the three years, uh, we are taught how to practice entirely. You know, uh, we are given the entire uh, instruction, everything. Now it depends on yourself whether you put it into practice or not. You know, in the three years, you put till certain amount, but three years is a short time. You know, so uh, how much can you? You know, we have all a lifetime of habitual pattern, you know, of these confusions uh, uh, which is stuck to us. You know, so uh, three years to clear them uh, is very difficult that way. You know, uh, uh, people uh, such as even one lifetime's uh, habit such as smoking is difficult to give up for some people. You know, they try so many methods uh, but still cannot, you know. Uh, uh, but uh, so that way it takes time. But uh, it is, uh, you know, so gradually uh, one tries to, uh, you know, so gradually through the practice. So if one keeps continuing practice, then that will, uh, and that will, because we have already been taught and the instructed uh, exactly how to, uh, you know, practice, then uh, one will uh, move through the path that way. Uh, so, uh, so yes, you will, uh, you know, it has, it will give you some experience, uh, some practice on that, uh, but uh, complete uh, realization. Uh, very difficult. You know, as as far as I'm concerned, I'm not I'm not talking about everybody, okay. Uh, but I haven't heard of anybody coming out in night from three years to three. You know, so uh, so it is very difficult, I think, uh, because uh, uh, you know. But saying that, uh, if one seriously practices, nothing is impossible. You know, but uh, uh, but uh, while eating, while sleeping, while doing everything, continually practicing without your mind being uh, distracted for a moment, 
it is difficult, right? It is not very easy, you know. So, uh, so one has to be yeah, practical also, I guess. You know, so in that terms, uh, it has benefited me from before going to the retreat and after coming out. Yes, it has. Uh, but uh, if I say, has it made me enlightened? No, it has not. <laughs> talk about the child and the child will take the chocolate happily from the mm -hmm. child who hurt him the day before, whereas um, it's a bit harder for us. Yeah, actually, <laughs> yeah, and you have the answer to yourself then, yeah. you know, because the child doesn't uh, create, uh, you know, uh, uh, create extra, uh, what do you say, uh, extra stories to this, you know, uh, for the child, somebody make him angry, he cry, and mm -hmm. that's it, that anger is just uh, anger, you know, nothing more than that. You know, he leaves it as it is. You know, he doesn't uh, attach strings like this person is like this, thinking of me like this. You know, uh, he is background. Uh, he doesn't create the story around the anger. You know, uh, which uh, and then he doesn't think. You know, uh, so all that when not created, then the anger is powerless. You know, uh, it uh, it appears. Uh, the child cry, but after that finish, you know, because it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, so when it's left as it is, it has no uh, power to continue, uh, you know, to make you uh, disturbed. Uh, for example, uh, you have anger, you know, suddenly uh, anger uh, erupts in you, and then through that anger, and then, uh, you know, uh, who made you angry, if you start building stories, you know, this person relating to, you know, uh, such and such character, such and such, then that anger becomes even greater, you know, more and more and more. And that all uh, starting from this I, you know, he made this I very angry. You know, so uh, because of this I, which should not have been touched, then you create all, uh, you know, uh, all kind of negative pictures of this person. You know, so then the anger develops even more and more and more. But when that anger, uh, you know, but when that anger erupted, if you just left it as the anger, and uh, uh, one who practices, you know, like supposing if you know a little bit of meditation, and then when that anger appears, you just look you know, at the anger and let it be as it is. You know, maintain that state, calm <coughs> state, by recognizing the anger and then just letting it, like how you how you did with your thought. You know, the thoughts through meditation, you recognize that your mind was carried away with the thought, but you did not go after the thought. Now, after the you know recognizing the thought, you brought back your mind to the uh, you know, base of the uh, you know, the meditation. You know, so same way, when the anger appears, you recognize the anger, and then don't get distracted or don't go after that, and then bring back your awareness to you know the, uh, <coughs> the nature of your mind, or you know as you know the try to maintain this calm abiding state. Then anger has no way but to uh, disappear, like the child's anger. You know, uh, so that is how you uh, you know tackle anger. Thank you. What, what is the purpose of ego? Purpose of ego? To make you unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that, that is the only purpose of ego. You know, ego uh, uh, is uh, uh, not. But of course, uh, uh, you know, one can, uh, how do you say? Uh, yeah, so, so right now, I guess that's the best way to. Yeah. Of course, everything has two ways to see. You know, as I said, uh, you know, doubt has two ways of seeing it. You know, so ego also, you know, if you use it in a good way, you know, ego not attached with the ego of self, I ego. If you use it in a good way, then ego, when recognized, you know, manifests into this uh, limitless potential that we have. You know, but when not recognized, is this limited ego as I. You know, so which is that? You know, which I said only is the creator of suffering. It only does suffering. You know, so that is, and when you recognize it, uh, you know, then it becomes an endless potential, you know, which is the uh, base for all and everything you know, possible, all wisdom. So that is, uh, that is ego.